Hello, I'm basically going to show you that I got uh, Cocos 2DX to work on the new Android Studio. Um, it's using, I'm using the original Eclipse to load the external libraries in the NDK, but uh, I'll show you it up and working um, on the Android Studio. So this is Android Studio here. Um, as you can see, this is the actual um, Android class here that runs the library and um, you can actually see the app delegate um, what they're doing here with it um, this is a header file that's located in my external library where the classes are so theoretically I can work in Xcode and compile my Cocos 2D project and then come back into Android and run it on an Android device and uh, the dot CPP is kinda like the the .m implementation file but this is all C++ so the code may look a little different but a lot of the principles are the same uh, from Objective-C to um, C++ and as you can see it's using uh, Cocos 2D where you're pushing a scene and you can mess with sprites and do all the cool uh, things that you can do in Cocos 2D so I got it up and running in the new Android uh, studio and uh, just wanted to give you guys a little preview so uh, I'll go ahead and run it, and you can actually see the little <clears throat> the template that they uh, that they give you. So, so we'll let this run once it decides it wants to do something. And you can actually see everything connect here. It's just taking a minute. Like I said, Android is a pain in the butt. And eventually it'll load. Okay, so if you rotate it here, this is uh, Cocos 2D. Obviously, the screen size is a little bigger than 480 by 320, and that's why it looks like that. And these are just little. Uh, frame per minute stats that uh, Cocos 2D gives you in the built-in framework and uh, you can close it and uh, exit the program. But uh, that's it. Alright, take care.